Okay, okay. All right, so today we're going to try and do an actual alarm. So we have this function here. Let's let's run it. See where we're at. We left it. Oh, that's funny. Where did my where did my tab bar go? So in my alarms, if I click on the date and time, I had it come up with a date and time picker. And it saves that in our field. So we have a time that we can set the alarm. And then we can save some notes. So we'll get to that. Um, what, uh, what we need to do though, the security on the iPhone is different than the Android, and we haven't gotten too much into the security on the Android, but on the Android, the way, the way they do it is you program into your application all the things that you need to have access to. So if you ever download an app on an Android phone, it asks you up front as you're downloading it uh, that this app is going to have access to the network and your contacts and the phone list and all this kind of stuff. And so you put those, that is compiled into the app. Uh, the iPhone does it differently when you request information or request to use a secure piece of, infor of the hardware like the, like the uh, um, camera or the location, the GPS, all that stuff. You have to give permission at that time uh, for, for this app to use it. And if you don't give permission, then the app can't do that particular piece of functionality. So to do that, we have a, a piece of code that we have to put in. Um, and for now, we'll put it into our loading of this uh, alarm. <coughs> And so we need a, we need to call a function. We're going to call it uh, register um, notifications. So I'm going to create a method called register notifications that takes nothing and inside of here we have to call a uh, a function of the phone and it's called UI one of these long ones user notification settings <laughs> and we have to pass it some information so the first thing come on the first thing we need to pass is uh, this what types of notifications we want to have access to meaning uh, we're asking the user, do you want to have an alert on the front page? Do you want to have a badge, which is a little circle on the app itself that shows you have some some attending to do? Did anybody here have an iPhone? Yeah. So you see a little red circle with a number in it on some apps. That's the, uh, that's the badge. And then a sound is that something will happen when this alert goes off, a sound will happen. So 
you, we can have all three of those types. And the user notification type, we pass it in an, a, um, in an array. So we say, I want the alert, I want the badge, and I want the uh, sound. Need more room here. And then the categories that we pass in for now is just going to be nil, the last piece. So we'll put it nil here. And so that sets up a, a variable that we're going to pass into a, another function. That sets up what we want. And then we have to call this uh, UI application method shared application dot register user notification settings. And we're telling the operating system um, to use our uh, variable that we just set up. All right, so uh, this is registering our app with the operating system, the iPhone operating system. And, and this alone will query the user to see, are you gonna give permission for this app to give you notifications? So I have something wrong. get an extra <laughs> parentheses, all right. All right, so let's run it now and launch our alarm view and show you what comes up. So the simulator will play sound as well? Pardon me? The simulator will play sound? Uh, it should, yeah. All right, so the app comes up normally, nothing's changed, but if they go into the alarm system, it says, hey, hold on, uh, this app would like to send you notifications, and notifications may include alert, sound, and icon badges. These can be configured in settings. So the, the settings for the phone, I could turn these off later if I allow them now. But if I don't allow them, then I, I can't send uh, notifications to this user just won't let me so that's all handled at the operating system level I think that's a little more secure because what happens is on the Android side people don't read all those things that this app has access to they just say uh, they install the light the light uh, flashlight app right it shouldn't have access to the network but it, it requires that, and they have some, uh, I would call them a virus flashlights that send information to a computer in China. <laughs> so, not a good idea. So this one puts it forward to you right at the time you're gonna need it. So, so I say, okay. And now, that is set for the system. So if I go, if I go look in the system, oops. What did I do? If I go, what the heck? If I go home, <laughs> shift, shift, oh, shift command H. Shift command H, I go back to the settings of the phone. I can look in the app, in the, Privacy, I think it is. Nope. They don't give us all of the things that are available. 
on a real phone. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to see that. Yeah. Well, all right, fine. Can't show you that. All right, so this, this gives us uh, access to all of these. If I took one of these out, like the, the badge, let's see if it changes that um, notification. So one thing that happens is that's stored in the system properties for my app. And I don't think it will come up again because I've already allowed the app to have access to it. So it should not come back up again. And it didn't. Okay, so on the simulator, the best way to get rid of that, to reset it so that I see that notification again, is to reset the content and settings for the entire phone. That wipes out stuff kills my app and we're back to this all right any questions on that so far while this is rebooting okay so all of that just to get permission to send notifications to the user. So I'm going to change our uh, little view here and add a button to make it easier to start <coughs> with. So I'm going to add a button to our view. It looks like uh, my simulator died. So I'm going to quit. start it. Okay. No, wow, that's not good. That's all part of the simulator, the springboard. Um, how can I switch? Let's go to a iOS 9 one. And scale it. Wow. All right, so let's quit Xcode. Restart Xcode. So this little red thing here that you can see on the on the uh, App Store, that's a that's a badge. They call that a badge. And you can put things like unread messages. So if, if this was a mail app, you'd have like 37 here. And you can keep updating that badge. Oh, nice.
<laughs> well, that might effectively shut me down here. I'm going to recording.